Another star has departed Impact Wrestling. This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fan. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? So Eddie Kingston, formerly of the DCC, announced today on Twitter that he is no longer part of Impact Wrestling. Now, I think it's safe to say, and everybody else can agree with me for the most part, that he was definitely underutilized. This is a guy who was a tremendous talker. And the DCC had a lot of potential, and it was something that they really dropped the ball on almost almost from the jump. And, uh, you know, you can kind of trace that back to feuding them with the Hardys very early and uh, taking a lot of early losses. Kingston took several losses as a singles competitor and was just, you know, in my opinion, never really given a chance to show what he can do. Tremendous talker, the very passionate guy. And there was a lot they really could have done um, with DCC and done with him. Now, I found something really interesting, and I don't know how accurate it is, but it, in an article, I read that um, Homicide is his best friend. So, really, uh, really interesting with everything going on with LAX and, you know, Loki coming in and out. And, I mean, wouldn't Kingston have slid into that role really nicely? You know, I know a lot of us were hoping he was the, the guy part of the group initially when they announced there was going to be a new member and the whole El Patron thing happened and then low key. I think he would have really fit that group. I mean, he had the mic skills to do it, you know, to really even chop it up in there with Conan. Um, man, I, I, I just, I, I don't know. We don't know what happens behind the scenes creatively, but I would, I would really like to know if that was ever tossed around or, or what happened with that, or if they decided that wasn't a good idea. But it's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that he signed a six-month deal. And I know he was happy to happy to come aboard. And he had said in interviews that, you know, this last year when he was signed, you know, that he was going to quit wrestling if he didn't get signed um, by the end of the year by, by a television product. So, you know, he came over the TNA side. And I think he was very excited about it. I know he was excited about it because because people have told me that who have spoken to him that he was excited to be there. And I know he was excited about the partnership with Pro Wrestling Noah and really was hoping to be a part of that. And um, man, really unfortunate. I think a lot of us saw the writing on the wall though when he appeared in the Gauntlet match. I was thinking, okay, this there's an op there's a chance here that that uh, maybe they're going to run with it. You know, he added his own music, his own look, and, you know, maybe it was um, some random music that they queued up for him, but it's really unfortunate. I think we would all, you know, with, with everybody, with all the guys that, you know, they've shelved over the over the years, we always sit back and say, you know, what if? What would have happened if they just ran with him a little bit? You know, so... I really want to know in the comments what you guys think about Kingston. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. We, we just uh, surpassed 1,900 uh, subscribers, trying to get up to 2,000. Uh, my goal was 2,500 by Bound for Glory, but um, my work schedule, now I'm working during the day, and I just, uh, as opposed to the nighttime before, and I just don't have the time to dedicate to this YouTube channel like I really wanted to, so I, I don't think that is a realistic goal anymore, but you know, I'm really, I'm definitely trying to get up to 2000, 2000 very soon. So please hit the subscribe button, but I want to know folks, please in the comments, your thoughts on Kingston. I can already imagine. I'll probably read a lot of good and positive stuff. And, and I think a lot of you probably agree with me. I mean, what if, what if, you know, they just let him do something. You, you can't find anything for this guy. It's unfortunate. Um, there, there's even money, in my opinion, in, in him and Bram just remaining a tag team. They never even got their comeuppance on, I shouldn't say comeuppance because they were the heel, but they never even got um, any kind of revenge on James Storm when he when he left the group. You know, I mean, we all know the DCC, James Storm will tell you himself, was, was just booked really poorly. It was supposed to be a babyface faction from what I understand, but became a heel faction, and um, it just never... It just never worked. It never clicked. And um, now we're here. Now he's back taking indie bookings. I'm hoping that he is not um, going to stop wrestling by the end of the year like he had he had planned. Um, maybe, maybe he's got a new breath of life. We don't know. And we're going to have to stay tuned to see uh, what's going on with Kingston further. So this is BQ. Again, folks, please hit the subscribe button. Talk to you soon.